Hey, welcome to the Gospel Edified YouTube channel, a platform where we help you grow in God's Word. We hope you'll be blessed by the words you're about to hear today. God bless you. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. We stand the risk of deviating a whole generation if we do not restore the correct context of approaching the Christian faith we stand a risk we stand a risk of deviating a whole generation towards a sincere path that may purport to helping us find God and live meaningful lives and will leave many in disappointment when you are young a lot of mistakes in your approach to knowing God may not tell because the consequences are not immediate but as you grow older in leadership in age and in life are we together the wrong perception about God begins to tell on your life tell on your children tell on your organization you can afford to be in error as a young man and the difference will not show are we together but as God begins to help you as you become a leader in any capacity you begin to see the effect of your ill or lack of complete understanding of the ways of God it will deviate institutions deviate individuals deviate men that is the reason why sometimes people purport that the church is where intelligent people come and become dummies it ought not to be so a preacher should not make people fools because they came to church are we together so that parents and families will not stop their children from coming to church because they cannot see the relevance of the things that we teach we stand a risk I tell you this prophetically if we do not reorder and redefine spirituality and respect our territories as we communicate our Christian persuasions let us not take the intelligence of the people who are loyal to us for granted are we together the church should not be an expression of caricature a venting of mediocrity and small mindedness we must respect the territories wherein God has planted us and we must respect the fact that the people who come to us are looking for God are intelligent people and have alternatives a man should not carry his wife and children and family as a CEO who loves the Lord and come and sit down under the mentorship of a man of God only to learn nonsense are we together and then at the end the man looks stupid his wife looks stupid the children look stupid they cannot see the value of their spirituality their lives begin to go down from the day that they become members the principles that brought excellence intelligence integrity and power to their lives those policies are no longer there it ought not to be so are we together and so I want to encourage you go back and listen to this message are we together listen to this message again listen to this message again listen to this message again pray with it download it and listen don't assume because you were here you understood it share it in love with anybody interested in learning God and living out spirituality to a context that profits the program of God and profits the society ignoring the society wherein you are planted is selfishness you must factor in the fact that you came to that society as an object of God's mercy you must factor in the effect of your spirituality or otherwise and the effect of your orientation on their overall well-being extremism and fanatism is the number one religious problem across our continent and plaguing other people it is extremism that has produced all shades of error that right now governments are grappling to manage at the back of the perpetrators of this thing is a supposed sincere pursuit but it's ended up bringing all kinds of terrorist sects and all of that at the back of anything that destroys society is an orientation and those who perpetuate it believe that they are communicating truth or pleasing some kind of deity somewhere. It's important to restore Christianity, spirituality, the faith practice as intended by God. Have you been blessed tonight? Let me give somebody an opportunity tonight to come to this Jesus. 
please keep standing we're wrapping up let's respect the altar call you heard me preaching while I spoke about the Bible while I spoke about the spirit of revelation and whilst you listen the Spirit of God began to preach you like he did Paul and the Spirit of God is telling you right now that you are part of the many that someday will have the opportunity to serve his purposes God is calling you there's no point being ashamed there's no point being afraid this is home for you wherever you are I want you to leave your seat as I count one to five this is a house of love you can never be too far away that Jesus cannot bring you back the the epicenter of the gospel is the love of Jesus and his ability to save even to the uttermost now you come as I count one let's celebrate them as they come two three come win that war come come to Jesus regardless where you are what you have done or not done what you know or don't know just come Jesus is home Jesus is the beginning he's called the author young and old male and female and for those connecting across the globe he's given you an opportunity to know him this is why he gave the Holy Spirit this is why he gave us access to the world come thank you thank you for coming thank you for coming hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I want to thank you brothers and sisters thank you all of you please if you're joining them come very quickly I want to thank you for heeding to this call thank you for winning that war summoning the courage to come and stand before Jesus let me tell you what this Bible says that as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away this is Jesus for you the Jesus we present is the one who gives hope the Jesus we present is the one who is always merciful always kind always loving and provided your heart is open to receive of his mercy you can never be too far that he cannot draw you for some of you he's giving you a new beginning for some of you you are recommitting yourself it doesn't matter what category you belong to I want you to lift your right hand and say this after me convincingly know that you are talking to Jesus say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I declare that I love you with all my heart I declare that you are the son of God I declare that you died for me and you rose again for my justification right now I receive you into my heart and I declare that you are my Savior you are my Lord you are my King the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight until forever I am a child of God I go from glory to glory grace to grace amen keep your beautiful hands lifted and I pray for you father thank you because your word declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away thank you for your good hand upon these ones thank you for the authority of scripture and by that authority I declare your sins forgiven I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God I declare that you are empowered to live victorious spiritual lives in the name of Jesus Christ the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken and destroyed forever over your life you are empowered to walk in victory to experience God and to reveal him to your world in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen please look to your right that would be my right that will be your left there are counselors who will have a brief word with you please do cooperate with them they'll have just a minute or two with you and you're back to your seat let's honor them as they go <laughs> hallelujah praise the Lord so okay that's true please correct the date I apologize I think I 
we made an adjustment of the date for our conference during our leaders meeting so the date i gave you was an old one please correct it the date for the our global koinonia conference is thursday 21st to sunday 24th my sincere apologies please correct it my dear people media make sure you correct it so all those who received 17th i remember during the meeting we had to adjust it so that it meets with the miracle service so it's november thursday november 21st to sunday 21st 24th please accept our apologies for um the miscommunication so next week i'll take out time to announce it one more time next week is our miracle service hallelujah a miracle service for the month of march by saturday we are back by god's grace and then ready and prepared for the miracle service please invite everyone i want you to know that the miracle services are not just times to display power but it is god reaching out to people people are hurting people are wounded people are sick they need jesus if it is true that jesus is the answer we must give people an opportunity to experience him we must give people an opportunity to love him to know him and we must reveal him not just in his wisdom but also in his power so please invite everyone come on sunday and let's celebrate jesus and celebrate his power and experience him in our lives and extend the same to others have you been blessed tonight i speak over your life in the name of jesus you are and remain a sign and a wonder you are and remain a sign and a wonder may my god keep lifting you may my god keep blessing you may my god keep empowering you there will not be a better yesterday for you you keep going from glory to glory from grace to grace in the name of jesus every area of challenge in your life i declare this week may you experience the hand of god there experience the favor of god someone is getting to know jesus through you someone is getting transformed through your witness someone is getting healed through your life someone is rising above curses and yokes through your life go and represent jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ now together let's share the grace in fellowship and when we do that please do greet someone give them a big hug after service just appreciate them on your way out let's share the grace in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forever we hope you've been blessed by the word of god today don't forget to like subscribe and share so that you'll be notified whenever we have any new content coming up remember to stay edified we love you and god bless you